I'm making pescado al ajillo for dinner tonight. If you guys watched my camarón al ajillo video, this is very similar, but instead of the shrimp, we're swapping it out for fish. So if you don't know, pescado al ajillo is basically garlic butter fish, and I'm just gonna be serving it over some white rice, which I already went ahead and made here. Just made some jasmine rice, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The fish I'm using tonight is fresh fish that my dad caught. That's why it's in one of these bags, but you can use any fish that you have. This is the fish. I'm just gonna go ahead and season it on both sides with salt and garlic powder, that's it. Do the same on both sides. All right, so I'm getting ready to start cooking and hubby just got home. We're gonna make something. He brought the goods. He got me some high noons. We're gonna be trying them, not on here, we're gonna make a separate video, but it's a pool pack. It's not new, I don't think it's new, but we've never tried those flavors before. They have, they have a guava flavor in there, so. Mm -hmm. And a kiwi flavor, and peach. We haven't tried those. I'm excited. All right, let's taste this margarita. He used Don Julio this time. Get some salt. Por Dios, que rico! It's so good! Oh. Now the food's gonna taste better. Okay, so it's the same concept, like I said, as my camarón al ajillo, if you watch the video. I'm just going to start with some olive oil. And then, some butter. I'm using salted butter. You can always add more later. Um, but I'm going to add about that much. And then I'm going to turn this on to like a medium heat. And I'm going to let my butter melt down. I'm gonna add in some garlic. I still don't have fresh garlic, so I'm using this minced one. And then I'm gonna add in my fish. Now that my butter is almost melted down, I'm gonna add in one table, tablespoon of garlic. A lot. And I'm gonna let that get fragrant for like a minute. Now that we have our garlic butter base, I'm just gonna add in my fish. Gonna squeeze them all in here. I'm gonna let them cook for like one to two minutes and then I'm gonna flip them. I'm gonna flip them. Don't worry if they're not cooked all the way. We're gonna put a lid on them now and they'll finish cooking. And then once I flip them like this, I like to season them with a little bit of garlic salt. And don't have your heat too high because you don't want to burn your garlic. I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to let them finish cooking through for like one to two minutes. At this point, once your fish is fully cooked through, you can go ahead and serve it. Spoon some of that garlic sauce on top of the rice. And if you do want your fish to be a little bit more seared, then go ahead and just give it a little bit more time. If not, you're good to go. You serve it like that. This is how mine looks, fully cooked. Woo, that steam. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and serve it. This is how it turns out. I just put it on top of some rice. I spooned some of that garlic sauce that I told you guys about. Do it, do not eat it without doing that. And then I just have some cucumber and tomato salad on the side with just salt. Let's taste it. The fish is super flaky and soft. Let's see? Rico! <laughs> Rico, Rico, try it. Let me know if you try it.